2 Kings chapter 10, verse 30. And the Lord said to Jehu, Because thou hast done well in then executing that which is right in my eyes. All right. He's slain the king of Judah. He's slain the king of Israel. And he's destroyed the Baal worship. And God said, that's right in my eyes. That executing, executing, that's the first time that word shows up in the Bible. Unlike Saul, King Saul, Jehu did right. And this would be the people who say, well, I can't join the military because God said thou shalt not kill. What do you do with Jehu? He's killed the king of north. He's king, killed the king of the south. And he's killed a bunch of Baalites and their priests. Bible says thou shalt not kill. Well, evidently there is a stipulation for wartime. There is a stipulation against people who go against the law. Evidently, God does not hate the sin and love the sinner. It's rubbish. Which is right in my eyes. And has done unto the house of Ahab, that's his family, according to all that was in my heart. Destroy him. Kill him. They're not living right. Capital punishment. And run that with Romans chapter 13. The government. And then you get a religious organization. Oh, you shouldn't put somebody in an electric chair. You should not give them the needle down with capital punishment. It's a Bible doctrine. The reason why they don't want capital punishment because they've been killing Christians over the year and they would put the charges on their own church and their own people. They would be found murderers and they would have to die. So they're protecting themselves. The reason why they wanted Barabbas and not Jesus because Barabbas lived like they were living. And Jesus was perfect and right. The children, and he says, uh, Ahab, according to all that was in my heart, thy children, Jehu, thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. Exodus 20 verse 5 says, the third and fourth generation of those that hate me of idolatry. But, but's a sad word in the Bible. Jehu took no heed to walk in the law of the Lord God of Israel with all his heart. With all his, he walked in some of the laws, but he didn't walk in them all. He nitpicked and chose what he wanted to do, who he wanted to, what he wanted to serve. For he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam. All right, so he violated, you know, make no images, even though he destroyed the images and, and uh, idols of Baal. But he clung to the golden calves of Jeroboam and the false priests and the false religion and the false uh, sacrifices and the false holidays. That he kept. He didn't like Baal, but he loved Jeroboam's religion. Neither religion was able to get them a please of God. Religion can't do it, but God, Jehovah, and his law, which made Israel to sin. Plain and simple. Go back and look at Jeroboam. He had the calves. He had his own religion. And look what it says. Made Israel to sin. What do you do with that? The Baal worship and the Jeroboam worship matches the religions today. In those days, the Lord... Jehovah began to cut Israel short because of their sins. And Haziel, that you remember him, he's the one that killed the king, smothered him. As Elijah said, he would start killing the Jews, smote them in all the coasts of Israel. Syria. Syria coming down. God using them for the punishment of Israel. From Jordan eastward, all the land of Gilead, the Gadites. Gadites were the ones that said, Moses, can we have this land that's not the promised land? Moses said, okay. The Reubenites. Oh, Moses, look at this land. It's great for our cattle. It's great for our families. Can we have this land? And the Manassehites, which would be the half-tribe of Manasseh. 
Oh, Moses, look at it. This is so much better on this side of the river. And these are the groups here will go first into captivity. They're not where they belong. Next one would be Israel to go into captivity. And then Judah. From Aurora, which is by the river Arnon, even Gilead and Bashan. Now the rest acts of Jehu and all that he did. And all his might. Look at God, look at all his might. He had a zeal for the Lord. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of, of Israel? They are. And Jehu slept with his fathers, and he buried him in Samaria. And Jehoahaz, Jeho his son, reigned in his stead. Now this is north. This is Israel, Samaria. And the time that Jehu reigned over Israel in Samaria was 20 and 8 years with Jeroboam's religion. And when Athaliah, go back to 2 Kings 18, 18. 2 Kings 8, 18. Let's find out who this woman is. No, it's 18, 6, 6, 6, 6. Then we're going to do verse 26, 13 times 2. Chapter 8, verse 18. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel. And as did the house of Ahab, for the daughter of Ahab was his wife. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, verse 26. Two and twenty years old was Azahiah when he began to reign. And he reigned one year in Jerusalem, that's south. And his mother's name was Azahiah, the daughter of Amri, king of Israel. So here is Ahab's family. Here she is in chapter 11, verse 1. And when Azahiah, the mother of Azahiah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the sea royal. Here is a queen in Judah ruling. And to show you how much God does not accept this rule by this wicked queen, her name is not even mentioned in Matthew chapter 1. She's killing her grandchildren. The seed royal. Those seeds of the boys that would be to that throne. She destroys them all. You have Exodus, where they're killing the babies, the male babies. You have the time of Jesus, they're killing the male babies. Pharaoh's doing it. Athahiah's doing it. The Roman government is doing it. All these baby Jews. It's a history of the Jews. When they will not do right. But Jehosheba, which means oath of Jehovah. Jehoshiba, the daughter of King Joram, okay, sister of Azahiah, that's the one who was just slain, the male, took Joash, the son of Azahiah, and stole him from among the king's sons. So she takes them, which were slain. So Azaliah is going out killing the king's sons. Here Jehosheba grabs this one son, this one royal seed, and steals him. And they hid him, even him and his nurse, like Moses, like Jesus in Egypt, hiding from the government, Herod, who's angry, in the bedchamber from Athahiah. So that he was not slain. And he was with her hid in the house of the Lord. Now, okay, you say, well, that's good. That's great. It can be. But what kind of king was Azahiah? I mean, yeah, Azahiah. No, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Azahiah. Well, he's the one that is meeting with Ahab. He's the one that married the defense. He's, he's, got a, he's got wickedness going on in Jerusalem. But this baby, this I mean, this young man, whatever age is, Joash, he was with her, hid in the house of the Lord, six years. And Athahiah did reign over the land. So here is one son of a dead king, of his brothers who's been killed over this wicked woman. He's he's raised in the temple. And we're going to stop right there. We're going to pick up 
next when he becomes king over Judah. But what, what evil wickedness. And Jehu had that full zeal for the Lord. Didn't go all the way, did he? Mm 